Hey guys, in this video, we are looking at how to create custom named scenes in Video Ninja. So we're going to get started by just creating a random room. We're going to invite a guest, and so we have a video source. I will choose virtual game. And what we can see here is we have scene one available by default and a bunch of additional scenes. These are all predefined scenes get to get you started. As we see here, we have scene zero. Press that button, we get scene one. Uh, there isn't scene two to eight listed. You have to manually type that change in. Uh, but what happens if you don't want to use one of these predefined scenes? Maybe you want a, a label. Well, we can take the scene link and we can just change the, the scene names to anything we want. In this case, I created a scene called Steve. And in the control room, we see at the bottom now we have a new scene created called Steve. We can do that again. Uh, we can call it slot five, let's say. And then we have the button. So just like a normal scene, except now it's at the bottom and uh, yeah, so that's kind of neat. If we keep this triggered and then we refresh the scene, it will recall the state. Oops. So that's, that's kind of helpful. Um, what else is there? I should note that scene one's a little bit special. Scene one uses up more resources than the other scenes. Scene one um, has, a, has a default bitrate that keeps the video active in the background. So even if it's not visible, the videos are still somewhat being processed. That way, when you add someone to a scene or add someone to scene one, they appear very quickly and at high quality. If you add someone to scene two to eight or any custom scene, they don't start with as high a bitrate. They start from a bitrate of zero. And so for the first second or two, you might have some lower quality pixelation. Um, scene, scene zero is a little bit special. Also, we know scene zero will automatically add users to that scene. So there are some slight variations between those scene types. Um, I don't know if I want to turn those variations into scene styles or whether I want to leave it this way, but just so you're aware, scene one is more CPU re uh, intense than the other scenes. Although if you're using eight or nine scenes at a time, uh, you are probably going to have higher CPU utilization because each scene is an iframe, is a new browser window. And that will take up resources and take up additional processing load. Even if it's not huge, it, it, it will start to make an impact. So still, you might be tempted to use scenes as kind of dynamic slots to bring users in and out of. Although once you start getting beyond you know, four to eight uh, scenes, you start really um, having to be concerned about CPU load. So just something to be aware of, but you can create your own custom labeled scenes. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much.